This is the Pastor's Coach with award-winning, best-selling author, Dr. Dave Williams. Encouragement and guidance for today's pastor. And now, here's Dave. Every pastor has received at least one. Wayne Benson used to call them sniper notes. Now that's a pretty good description. Young pastors and older alike across the nation have struggled with unsigned sniper notes, wondering who wrote them. In many cases, they can guess, but unless the Holy Spirit gives them clear discernment, they'll probably never know who sent these sniper notes. They come in all varieties. Some express personal opinions, others question the pastor's motives, tear apart his personality, or trash his character. They usually come during an already stressful time in the life of a church. Someone who doesn't have the courage to ask the right questions or go to the right person for clarification tries to influence the pastor or others through secret letters. Sometimes they're even written in a prophetic tone as if the Lord were speaking. One pastor I know received a secret sniper note from Jesus. I used to get these quite often in the earlier years. People had their opinions, and if they didn't harmonize with mine, I could count on an unsigned note arriving at my desk. I'd look out at the congregation and wonder, which member wrote that? Sometimes it was obvious, but I could never prove it. When I'd receive an unsigned note, I couldn't understand why my stomach would twist up in knots. It was frustrating. I wanted to respond, but who do I respond to? It was difficult to pray because my mind would keep going back to the words in the sniper note. Then I realized something. Fiery darts are actually satanic stingers. That's why these unsigned notes bothered me so much. They were designed by the enemy to bother me. This is exactly what the devil wanted, to get my focus off God's plan and God's goals and onto the fiery stinger of the wicked. Ephesians 6, 10 to 16 talks about taking up the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. So I asked the Lord how to deal with these notes and here's what he said to me. Don't ever read another letter that's unsigned. Throw them away immediately. After that, whenever I'd read my mail, I would first check to make sure there was a signature before I'd read it. No signature, and it got tossed. I announced to the congregation what the Lord had shown me, and soon the immature carnal snipers drifted off to other churches to find a pastor who would be motivated by their controlling habits. Unsigned notes that contain stingers are always wicked. That's why they're called the fiery darts of the wicked. Wicked means twisted, like, a, like wicker furniture or a candle that has twisted uh, thread going right up through the center of it. Wickedness, like a candle's wick, comes from the center, the heart of a person. Jesus taught us this in Mark 7.20. A person who sends unsigned notes and letters is really twisted and has a real heart issue that's not being dealt with appropriately. Secret letters, stop and think. The word occult means secret. When you have a hemocult test, you're checking for hidden or secret blood in your stool. The word occult means secret or secretive. Paul talked about the hidden principle of rebellion. 2 Thessalonians 2.7 says this, the mystery of lawlessness, that hidden principle of rebellion against constituted authority is already at work in the world. Your enemy loves to work in a shroud of secrecy. He likes to keep his tactics, agendas, and motives hidden. And people who use these secret note strategies are engaged in an occult activity without even realizing it. Now, most are infantile in their faith and don't know any better. Some think they're doing God a favor without realizing the nature of the spirit that is actually motivating them. Now you know what to do with those unsigned messages. I'm Dave Williams. Thanks for joining me today. Dave Williams is the award-winning author of the book and course, The Art of Pace-Setting Leadership. For more pastoral and leadership resources, visit us at DaveWilliams.com. We look forward to hearing from you, and be sure to join us for the next Pastor's Coach Update.